Welcome to our tutorial on the loft command. Right now we're in the generative shape design workbench. Here's the loft command or the multi section surfaces command. The multi section surface definition window opens. You may have a slightly different functionality depending upon the CATIA license you're working under. First, I'll select this profile this profile, and this one. As you see, they appear in my selection area in the definition window. Be sure the arrows on all your profiles are pointed in the same direction. Click Preview. Here is our lofted surface. Next, let's right click and remove our second profile, Sketch 2. Click Preview. Next, I'll use a guideline to guide the edge of this surface. Preview. I'll select a second guide right here and click Preview. As you see, our surface looks different again. Right click and remove. Right click and remove. Let's explore the Spine tab. Click Preview first. Let's select the spine fields. Now select this spline and click Preview. You have the option to compute the spine. Basically, this means that CATIA will compute the spine on its own. CATIA will use a virtual straight line between these two points. To create an edge on this side for this surface, Let's reselect the spine. Preview. Down here we have a section where we can define smooth parameters. Our options are angular correction and deviation. These options come in very handy when you have a small discontinuity. Let's click OK. And here is our multi section surface. Let's move to another window, part one. Here we have two profiles. I'm going to select the multi section surfaces tool again. Let's select this profile and this profile and click preview. The surface looks a little twisted. Even though the arrows are pointing in the same direction, the problem is that we've got the closing point on this profile here and the closing point on this profile right here. Let's right click and choose Replace. Let's choose this point and click Preview. Now it looks better. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the coupling function. Let's click on the coupling tab. We're going to change the surface transition in this area. I'm going to select this point, this point, this point, and this point. Preview again. Now we have the radius smoothly transitioning to this point. If we need, we can add more coupling points. Let's click Preview. As you can see, we have a slight problem here also. Let's check this one. Preview. Now it looks better. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the loft command.